Hi everyone, this is the fourth and last video in the series of recordings about quantitative risk analysis uh, using at-risk software and in this video I will explain how to analyze and interpret results for Monte Carlo simulation. A quick look at our model shows that uh, the model logic is now complete and we have already defined the uh, output and inputs uh, for the model. Uh, we set the number of iterations and now we are ready to run the simulation. We can start simulation by selecting this option in the menu bar and it takes a very short time to complete the simulation. As you can see, results are automatically shown in a histogram for uh, output and input variables. If you accidentally close this window, it is possible to recall uh, different results. You can simply select one input or output variable and uh, use this option in the menu bar, browse results. So again, you can see results for this output variable and it is the same for any input uh, variable such as setup cost, revenue or expenses. I'd like to explain three main types of chart that is uh, used uh, in at risk as uh, default formats of uh, simulation results. The first one is this uh, histogram chart. As you can see, we have different percentages uh, on the horizontal uh, axis and two sliders that you can play with. And a summary of statistics uh, has been shown on the right side of histogram. You can see the minimum uh, net present value for project two can be uh, almost minus uh, $6,000. And the maximum value can be up to $83,924,000. So it is a bit worrying because you can end up having a negative net present value. So let's change the uh, value on top of this left uh, slider to zero. And as you can see, there is a very small risk of having a negative uh, net present value for this project. It is about 0.1%. And uh, you have this uh, opportunity of about 99.9% uh, .9 to uh, have a positive net present value, which is good. You can also change the percentages on the left and right side of sliders. For example, we change this one to 10%. And uh, the relative dollar value for 10% uh, is $62,000. It is the 90th percentile and shows that there is only 10% chance that uh, this project can yield a net present value uh, greater than $62,000. So then again, it is called uh, 90th percentile for this uh, particular output. Another type of chart that can be used for uh, showing results is the cumulative distribution function or CDF. So if you want to change this uh, chart type to that, you can select this option uh, on the menu and select cumulative ascending. As you can see, this uh, is another way of illustrating results in ATRIS. For example, if you are uh, interested in finding the median net present value or uh, 50th percentile for this uh, second project, you can change the percentage to 50. And it shows that uh, the median net present value for this project is uh, $43,902 and there is 50% chance of getting net present value less than this and 50% chance of having a net present value greater than this. Another type of chart that can be used is called Tornado. So we can select this option in the menu and uh, go for Tornado. Different bars in this uh, chart show that how sensitive is net present value uh, 
uh, when different input variables are changing. The most effective uh, input variable is our expenses in year one. Uh, so basically the first bar on the top shows that net present value can vary between 32,243 in the minimum amount to 52,259 as the maximum amount when expense uh, in the first year ranges uh, in uh, the triangular distribution that we have defined for that one. Other input variables such as revenues are less important and net present value is less sensitive to variations in those uh, input variables. It is important to understand that when you are analyzing one input variable such as expense in the first year, other input variables remain at their static value and they do not change. So this sensitivity can be found based on varying amounts in only one variable. Okay, so this, one, the third, this was the third type of useful chart in our analysis and interpretation of at-risk results. Another fast way to see the results for our uh, Monte Carlo simulation is to see a summary of all results in only one page. You can use this option in the menu bar and it gives you a summary of input and output variables. Uh, so there are two tabs in this window for input. You can see all triangular distributions that we have defined already. And the outputs are internal rate of return and net present value for both projects. Now uh, we are ready to have a look on our project and decide which is a better investment option. We make our decision based on two criteria, uh, maximizing the median value for net present uh, value and internal rate of re uh, return for two projects, and the minimum spread of uh, data for these two output variables. The spread is the difference between 95th percentile and the 5th percentile. So let's see how we can calculate this. First of all, the median or 50th percentile for project one. So we select this cell and we can click on uh, browse results. As you can see, uh, 50th percentile or median can be found in two places, on the histogram and on the summary statistics on the right. So we can change this percentage to 50 and it shows that our median uh, net present value is 79,608. Another way of uh, finding this median net present value is to have a look on the table on the right side of the histogram and the same uh, amount can be found there. So we can type this uh, value in our table. I have entered all the values uh, for 50th percentile for uh, net present value of project one and two and also internal rate of return for both projects. Now this is time to calculate the spread of data for the two projects. Uh, this is the difference between 95th percentile and 5th percentile. So I can change this percentage uh, to five and you can see uh, 100,670 uh, is the 95th percentile and we have this 5% on the left of slider and it gives us $53,152 as the 5th percentile for net present value. So the difference uh, between these two will be entered into our uh, summary results table. Another way to find out the values for 95th percentile and 5th percentile is to have a look on the table on the right side of the histogram because you have uh, uh, relevant values for different percentiles in this table. 
the fifth percentile relevant value is 20,139 and for the 95th percentile it is 66,544 and we have the difference entered in this cell uh, for spread of uh, the present value as you can see, uh, the spread for net present value for the second project is equal to uh, 46,405, which can be seen in the table. As you can see, I have entered uh, the spread for internal rate of return for the two projects. In project 1, it is equal to 8.4%, and in project 2, it is equal to 12%. Uh, the spread should be as low as possible because it reflects the uncertainty in our data analysis. In other words, uh, we are calculating the difference between 95th percentile and 5th percentile to achieve a 90% confidence interval in our decision making. So uh, when the spread is 8.4% for project 1, it shows a better uh, option than 12% in project 2. So let's compare the median for NPV and IRR for two projects. Uh, the IRR uh, medians are almost uh, similar in two projects, so we should base our uh, decision making on the median uh, net present value. And you can see for project one it is $79,608 and for project two it is $43,902. The present value of project 1 is significantly higher than project 2 and it shows that it is a better choice for investment. So we have completed uh, our analysis uh, of Monte Carlo simulation results for this particular Excel. Uh, thank you for your attention.